Welcome back to the shop that's not the shop, everybody, and welcome to another CarbCo Quickie. Now what I'm doing here is I'm generating an image, a bunch of vectors, to simulate the question that was presented on Facebook. That question was, I have a rectangle, and in the left corner I have this mess. How do I get rid of that mess and close the rectangle back up while creating a nice square? Here's how I answered it, and here's how I would do it. I would go to the square tool, I would create a square that encapsulates the mess, create the square, I would then go to the snip tool, and I would get rid of everything inside of that square. Now you can click on each individual vector to get rid of them, or you can left click and hold the mouse down and slide around and it will eliminate those vectors for you. As I said, you want to remove everything inside that square. Once it's gone, get rid of the square itself, like that. Click on the cursor tool. Now you're going to go to the line tool. And what you're going to do is, you're going to start at this point and this point, drawing two intersecting lines. The first line needs to extend past this one, and this line needs to extend past this one. Left click on the spot once you get the window with the crosshair, release the button, and you're looking for that symbol right there, that barbell. If you're not straight, you will have a crosshair. Once you have the barbell and it's extended past the bottom vector, left click. Push space on the keyboard, that'll get rid of the tail here that we're generating. Start again on the bottom, left click, look for the dumbbell in the circle or the barbell, left click again. Space bar once more. Drop down to your snip tool again. Now snip what's outside of the box. That's gone and that's gone. Going to cursor tool. Highlight the entire box or the entire vector of whatever you're creating. Go to the top two vector. Go to join with coincident nodes. Now as you can see over here we have three vectors. When we get done doing this, we're going to have one. So when I click join, it's going to close that and make one complete rectangle. As you can see, we now have one and one. We have one box, one rectangle. So that's how I would close it, and I hope you learned something from this video. As always, give us a like, share, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. I'll catch you on the next one.